Before I even start, let me just say this. I don't like talking about this. It hurts. It's painful. And honestly, I don't even care to talk about it, to be real in this moment. If you don't know, I'm depressed. I hate myself. I hate my life. And I don't hate all of my life. When I talk about, excuse me, when I talk about this, I feel so conflicted because it's like I am back and forth, two heads of the same coin. And I'm nervous because I haven't been able to create a video for a while now because of my anxiety. I have generalized anxiety disorder and right now I am very anxious. My social, my social anxiety has been getting worse just because I worry that I'm being extremely irrational. No one understands how I'm feeling. I've been expressing myself for, I'm 27, I'm about to be 28 next month. And it's just very interesting to see how I know I'm weird. I know the way I think is not normal. And how I see life is not how everyone or the majority of people see it. So in this video, I am going to open up and be darker, I guess, than normal than I normally am, because I I fear, and I'm studying right now, being darker or talking about my dark places because of what I care about, which is pushing forward and staying strong. And it's and me talking about my depression, and anyone talking about their depression does not apply to all their life. Each time I've noticed, each time I talk about my depression or someone in, the, in DT Nation, because I read your comments, as you all know, I, I reply to your comments when I can, and I do my best. Each time I see the comments of how people have opened up to their parents about the depression or opened up to their partners or, you know, their ex, they broke up because of, you know, depression in the relationship and someone, you know, trying to open up about how they feel. It's like people worry so much that it almost makes you not want to tell them how you feel. Sometimes I want to be able to talk about my depression and not scare the world, you know, not <laughs> get the calls, right? Get the text. Sometimes I just want to express that I'm feeling low and I hate what's going on currently in a moment. And that I just want somebody to talk to to help me talk through it. That's what depression talks really even represents, talking openly about <laughs> mental health so that way it becomes destigmatized it's easier to talk about. I haven't made a video talking in so long now because I've been just scared, y'all. Scared of myself. I'm going to try my best right now to explain what my generalized anxiety disorder is like and what my major depressive disorder makes me feel like. And if I have not said this already, my name is Emmanuel. I am a mental health motivational speaker. And I attempted suicide in December, 2016. And I got this tattoo of a semicolon on my, I got this tattoo of a semicolon on my arm uh, and a number 25 to represent a pause in someone's life, but the life is not over. My life was not over because I chose to say, depression will not beat me. It won't hold me back from living my best life. Like, I don't care. <sighs> I could be walking in nature and nature is so beautiful. And I can be surrounded completely by it at a, by it in a park and only be focusing on literally hating who I am. The trees can be green, the leaves are, are, are luscious and saturated because you know I love photography and videography. And I'm actually thinking about what I'm not doing good enough in my life I'm focusing on it the whole time. I am not good enough. I don't work hard enough. I'm always lazy. No one cares about what I have to say. So why am I doing this anyways? 
is not important? What am I doing wrong? Why, why do I care? Honestly, why do I care to keep going when I hate, when I, <laughs> why I keep going when I just hate so much, so much? Sometimes I hate hating so much. I wish my mind did not think about depressing thoughts. That's not a bad thing to say. What the heck? I wish my mind did not think about depressing thoughts. I wish I did not care about having to wake up every day and fight. Every, excuse my language, damn day I had to think about and work on my mentality just to <laughs> attack each day more positive, hopefully. That is the most exhausting feeling. <laughs> and, and I'm holding this mic, by the way, because I had to find a way, I had to force myself to find a way to say something, to get this out, to talk about this moment, because I don't like talking about this. Another thing, <laughs> I don't like talking about this because I hate the attention. It sounds so weird. It sounds backwards. So let me try to explain that. I hate the attention it gives me. You know how, you know, I've talked to a lot of people, obviously, that deal with depression. And if you do talk to somebody, if you have somebody, a friend, a family member, you know, your spouse, if you have somebody that you know talks about their depression, okay, well, just think about them. Sometimes because of the stigma, you know, people talk about depression for attention. That's the stigma. Oh, they're only talking about their emotions just to get attention, okay? Now, I'm not saying some people don't. Some people do only talk about their depression for attention. Some people are in need, just like how some people are truly homeless. And then some people are not truly homeless. But just to say all people are not homeless, what the heck? So anyways, I'm getting off subject. My mind's jumping a bit trying to share this example. When I talk about my depression and my anxiety, it is not for attention. I don't care about the attention. I care about getting out this pain inside of my body. And I feel like when I talk about it, not only is it first help first, by the way, helping me, because I'm the one talking. So by talking, it's helping me get it out. So hopefully, by, I, I, my hope is this, by what I'm saying, there are people in the world, which I know from DT Nation U, from over four years of making video, that I am, ex I am doing exactly what I'm passionate about, expressing how I feel, and hopefully self-expression equals, equals happiness, because again, I work on that every single day to believe in that, to believe in that wholeheartedly. This is not easy. Now, hold on for one second. Somebody just called my phone, and I got to make sure, because I'm so worried right now that the video paused while somebody was calling me. All right. Hopefully, you can still hear me. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'm trying my best to talk about these things that are hard to talk about. Because I know that I'm not the only one that goes with dealing with depression or feeling sad or lonely, or that no one understands how they feel, no one understands what they're going through. You know, you go through work, you go through like, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Just think about this. Every single person in their life has their own story of their own life that they're playing in their own head. Every single person does. So I, I believe that everyone in their own story that they're telling themselves in their life, at some point, I'm telling y'all, deals with hating themselves, Hating work, hating school, hating COVID, hating politics, hating money, hating relationships, hating the weather. And if you don't, if you don't want to use hate, disliking strongly. I hate hating things. I hate feeling numb. I hate feeling alone. I hate feeling too emotional. I'm actually very surprised. I have not cried, if I'm being honest, because I do cry a lot. 
I have no problem saying that, man. Who who does not cry, yo? By the way, y'all, if you are a man that believes that men should not cry, man, you got a big problem. Because don't you want, I'm going to ask women this question, don't you want to be with a man that understands you emotionally? And if he can't understand his own emotions, how can he really deeply understand you on an emotional level? I'm just saying. I don't like talking about this. I feel dark. For some reason outside right now, the sun is is kind of trying to fight through the clouds. And it makes me feel a little bit better. You know why? Because may, maybe me just... Just having this moment just to vent and express how I'm feeling because I, again, believe that self-expression equals happiness. Maybe that allowed me to feel from feeling like a one out of 10, one being numb, empty inside, nothingness, to feeling like a three. That's better, I guess, because I really don't even care about that, you know? That's, that's how I feel. <laughs> that sounds so confusing. And, and, and I just want to make sure I repeat this because I feel like I'm, I'm almost done. I don't think like this 24-7. You know, I'm not depressed every single second of my life. Like, I'm not. I, I love watching anime. I love being able to... <laughs> Man, I love watching anime. By the way, I do smoke weed. I have my medical marijuana card. I live in Tampa, Florida. Wow. I'm glad I get to bleep things out because that was not smart to, to say that thing. <laughs> but I'm proud of what I do. And it makes me feel better. I'm glad my knees are feeling better. I haven't been able, haven't been able to walk upstairs properly for four and a half months. I can dance again. <sighs> There's so much new music coming out, man. It's crazy, honestly, how good music is today. It's crazy, it's gotten so much better. It used to be trash for a while there, but I'm glad music has come and made a turnaround. My mind is thinking about the positive things I like. I feel like a five out of 10, maybe a four. Let's not go that far. But I'm done, man. I hope this video shows you uh, that mental health is real. And just because I'm talking about this does not mean now it's easy. That hurt, that's scary. I said a lot of personal things. I can't tell me how, I cannot tell you how many times I have picked up this camera and this microphone and tried to say something and upload it. I cannot tell you how many times I've done that in the past two to three weeks and just countless amount of videos, just countless. I videos, podcast episodes, Instagram images and graphics and audio. The DT Nation Facebook group, which I thoroughly man. Yo, I see. Yo, the DT Nation, like, thank you. Y'all keep it real, bro. I appreciate, I appreciate you for not judging me, for saying these things that are not easy to say. I am so weird and so strange and so different. And I know, I know, because maybe I'm overreacting and people don't think about these things. But I do. I do. And I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't control what thoughts enter in my mind. And I do meditate and I exercise, as you see on my Instagram account. I eat healthy. This conversation on mental health can go on and on and on. Comment down below. I made it here. <sighs> if you made it here, just so I know, man. I don't like to talk about this, but I did.
good. I feel like I got it out. I'm going to move forward. Please, if you honestly are a person that enjoys openly talking about mental health, openly talking about emotional intelligence, your emotions, what you're going through in life, you know, just the struggle sometimes of fighting and getting through the everyday life and fighting those mental battles. But you keep pushing forward, you know, you crawl forward, you don't lay down, you keep fighting, then subscribe to this channel. I don't give up. I don't, I don't care how low I feel. I don't care if I feel like a zero out of out of 10. I almost cussed right there. There. I don't care if it's a zero out of 10, okay? Because I've attempted suicide in December 2016. Like I, I've, been, I, I, I've been in that moment. You know, I've been in that moment where I decided my life is, does not, is not important. And so I got to look at this, make sure it's still recording here. Uh, DSLR cameras. Um, but I had that moment of deciding that my life's not good enough. I don't want to be here. I can't change my life. I can't change my circumstances. I can't change where I'm going in my life. I've had that moment and I attempted. So after that moment, I mean... I don't want I don't want to give up on myself ever again. It's as simple as that, man. I, I just don't want to. Call it crazy competitive. Call it being insane. I don't care. I'm not giving up on myself, and that's why I'm not giving up on you. So Hit that subscribe button <laughs> if you believe in what I just said, because I I, I kind of went there. And then lastly, if you want to join the private DT Nation Facebook group, just go to Facebook and type in <laughs> DT Nation. I'm laughing because my mind is, I'm feeling so nervous right now that I, I know that I'm going to be uploading this as I'm saying these end things that I normally say. But if you want to join the DT Nation Facebook group, it's an open, uh, uh, it's a private group of members that openly talk about the mental health, their mental health victories, the things that help them get through their life, like get through these moments. I asked a question last night. Uh, other members in the group ask questions. You know, they share their victories and things like that. So just go to Facebook and type in Deach Nation if you're interested in joining and supporting uh, changing the mental health stigma in a group like that. All right. I think it is time to end this video before I freak out anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to me. DT Nation and the world and anyone, I don't know who you are across this screen that you've decided to watch this on. Just thank you for hearing me out. That means a lot. I think it's time to end the video. As I always say. <laughs> Do you? Stay swagalicious. I just yelled it to this mic. Sorry, that was probably loud. Stay swagalicious. And keep smiling. <laughs> Peace.